I wonder how many uh, batteries. I wonder how. I wonder how much charge is left in this controller. I don't think I've ever charged it. Oh, there is a dog. Yeah. Beast Huntress. She's got a. Um, what are these dogs called? The ones with the hair and the fur. Dogs. So none of this was changed. I should have read the patch notes. That's it, I should have read the patch notes. I didn't do it. I'm going into this blind. There's no, um, there's no unlocks for the Viking, and there's no like page even for the for the Beast Hunters. So I guess it's more character. I guess it's just character testing. All right. All right. Let's go see what the let's, let's go see what the Beast Beast Hunters can do. Let's boost my health a little bit. You're still beautiful, even if you have the brain process of a small raccoon. It's true, but I've no, I know, I've known raccoons. That have even greater brain processes than I do. So it's even worse than you think it is. It's even worse. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was the bathroom. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Vincent underscore just cheered 1,000 things. Thanks for $1,000, man. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, man. Not just, not just a monetary, not just in a monetary platon, unplatonic way of you just giving me money and I going, I appreciate it. I appreciate you as a human being. I want you to know that every time you look in the mirror and you go, man, this sucks. Oh, I want you to remember that there's, there's a Nick out there somewhere that goes, Vincent's a nice guy. What are we doing with this fucking bitch? Kugel Blitz? Fire a slowly moving ball of electricity towards a random enemy. The ball emits an electric shockwave. She throws... She throws sticks, huh? Listen, I saw you playing Dead by Daylight yesterday. Bro, just stream. Just stream Dead by Daylight, even if... Even if you don't talk to us in chat, just stream it. It was like 9.30 at night. Nobody was on. I was stuffing my face full of macaroni and cheese. And I was sad the entire time, man. This Force? Force improves all attacks and abilities in different ways. Usually it increases rate stats like... Piercing and knockback. So that's probably shit. Let's just go with attack speed. So what's the dog do? Just runs around? Dude, this attack... This, this guy's attack speed is shit. Oh fuck, he shoots too? That's fucked up. So you can't pet the dog. It's very sad. Love the sound effect of skeletons being crunched. Maybe I should have played on the new map. So it might be too easy. Ha <laughs> ha 
Six <laughs> percent movement speed. What are you guys doing for um, weekend? You guys doing anything? Any uh, any weekend plans? Big Friday coming up. <laughs> you working another double shift? Man, I didn't even know that you were working double shifts. Well, that sucks. That sucks, like time-wise, but it's good pocket pocketbook-wise. You know? Get that, get that bread. I used to do those a lot when I was uh, younger. Can't do them anymore. I can't even like stay up. I can't even stay awake anymore. It's fine. You have you have off for three months in, in November. Holy shit! So November, December, January, you have off. Crazy. Is that a uh, industry thing, or you just you decided? You know what, Mangela married. I'm staying home. Why do I do anything? I don't know. Gift are remoted once a week to make sure there's no crises. It happens every year since you've worked for said company. Oh, interesting. So they just give you three months off. Is it is it paid three months or is it I guess I guess it isn't, right? <coughs> that would be like that would be such an like an incredible expense to force everyone to do all kinds of crazy overtime and then they pay you for three months. It is paid three? Holy shit. Hell yeah, brother. God, I wish I could just like take three months off. <clears throat> we get like the normal, we get like the normal two weeks off, right? In December. We used to get, <clears throat> last year we got uh, Thanksgiving weekend, uh, like the whole weekend off. Thanksgiving, the like the American Thanksgiving. So like the Friday, it was Thursday, Friday and Monday they gave off for the Canadians. They didn't think they didn't, I don't think they're giving it to us this year. And that was like the most vacation that they gave us other than the Christmas vacation. Every year, man, three months off. You log in for like 20 minutes a week after. But you also have to work uh, I don't know how often you do it. Double shifts. Kind of close. It's funny though, because when I used to work at, um, my last job, I used to work at Square Enix, the offices in Montreal. <coughs> Token fragments, I don't know what that does. And I, whenever I was in the office, Sometimes I would like lose track of work and I would just like work until like seven or o'clock in the after uh, in, in the evening. I wouldn't even think about it. I would I would bill it, obviously, but I think it's like a lot easier for me to do something like that. And I think maybe that's why maybe that's why companies want people to come back to the office that like that kind of mentality can come back. When I'm at, when I'm at home man, I see four o'clock, <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. If they, if they haven't asked us for overtime yet, but if it was ever the case where I was working overtime. Minimum, the minimum allow, like law, law wise, the amount that they're allowed in Quebec is four hours, 10% of your pay or 10% of your hours. That, that's all I would work. I wouldn't even think about it. If that makes me selfish. It makes me selfish. But yeah. You get up around four, you work, you start at five and sometimes you stay until two and then sometimes you have to stay until seven. Damn, you start at four o'clock in the morning or five o'clock in the morning.
That's fucking early. I started at 7, and I thought 7 was early. Dude, 5. Jeez. You're so used to non-remote work that doing remote feels weird. You like the office because you you feel the staff and team work with do much better being around each other. Yeah, it's funny. When I was um when I was a senior coordinator at Square, I was like running uh, tests for that, like number like number crunching for that, specifically for that. If uh like output increased, and it was like pretty consistent. Remote workers like did twenty to thirty percent more work on during like their hours, and I was like pretty surprised about that because you would think that people working at home you would probably do less because you're at home you know and dogs running around kids are running around wife is screaming at you but that's individual work right it's not that it doesn't count like teamwork i would like to know what the I'd like to know what the if there are any stats for it, if there are any stats for <laughs> like consistent team increases in remote work. It's probably the same. I think there's just some people that I think there's some people that need that like social interaction. There's some people that just don't, don't give a shit about it. I think for me, I'm just lucky that my, like, the main hobby that I do, the two of them, one of them is hanging out on Twitch and streaming video games, and the other one is playing Warhammer at, like, friends' houses and clubs. It's so, like, I, I get plenty of, like, social interaction during just existing. You know? I find with it, you go over what third shift did and any problems, and then people start coming in, and we get on top of any issues probably quickly. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're used to it, right? Or you're okay with it. Hmm. Spike boots. Drops spikes on the ground. Nah. Ruby circlet increases damage and burst strength by 2% for each burning enemy up to 100%. Ooh, that could be good for the... That could be good for the uh, exterminator. He uses a flamethrower as a weapon. I wonder what that um, fragment token does. I don't know if that's a... Uh, that's like a new thing or not. This looks like Smash TV. Fuck Diablo. It looks fun. Yeah, it's like uh, Diablo 1. It's a... Um, it's a vampire survivor clone, but it it has like the meta progression. <clears throat> it's a uh, like wearable loot. So like this is like the progress. Like these are items that I have in my in, like my personal inventory. It's so, like whenever I start a new run, I have these these inventory items, and then you know there's like the normal, like the unlocks that you get while playing normally. This game is pretty cool. It's been getting like pretty consistent updates in beta. I check. I, I, I go back and check whenever they have like something big like the newest thing that they did was they added the beast huntress which i'm playing right now it has like a it has like a dog and throwing spears but uh it doesn't look like they added any new skills they picked up two skill scrolls already and it's the same ones as before yeah this game's pretty cool it's like five bucks It's funny reading the reviews, the Steam reviews for this game, it's like... 90% of them are like, Why would I ever play Diablo 4 when this game is one-tenth the price? <laughs> and when I was reading those reviews, I was reading those reviews and I was like, How accurate can that be? Like, I've played Diablo 4, I don't think it's worth $70 or $80 or whatever it is. But it's like... You're really gonna compare a five dollar vampire survivor game to Diablo 4 and then I played it and I was like, oh yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. It's like the same kind of gameplay. Um 
I think I'm gonna take this. I wonder what happens if I, if I max this out. 15% fra uh, fragile chance. Fragile is busted in this game. It makes enemies take twice as much damage. You definitely, like... If you ever get a chance to apply fragile, you just take it. Um, let's see. Phantom Needles, Dragon Bear. Well, Fro I mean, Frost Avalanche is new. Let's take that. Well, new. It's new-ish. I saw it last time. I might as well. I might as well take it just to see if it's fucked. Hey, Frank, I saw you were playing Rogue Legacy too. That's a fun game. I always end up turning on the the um, what are they called? The house rules. Last time I played it, I I ended up beating it with because of the house rules. Like one of them is flight. It lets you... You like click the right stick in and it lets your character fly around. I have to do, I'm gonna have to do like a legit playthrough of that game once. At least once. Plus 50 base health, main weapon? Why would it be main weapon? Strange. Never use house rolls yet, you're just playing legit. We'll probably play some more after work tonight. Yeah, there was, um, <clears throat> there was a boss that was just like frustrating me with how often you needed to be in the air. And I was like, man, this like really feels that you need to have light at all times. And then I was like looking through the house rules and it was like literally the first one. It's like flight. I was like, oh, well. You prefer one over two, but two is uh, clapping. I didn't like uh, one that much. But I don't remember exactly why. I just remember that some of the... Uh, I just remember when I was playing Rogue Legacy 2, I was like, wow, this feels a lot better than the first one. 20% Electrify chance. Some characters have Flight to Astro Master is good for that. Yeah, I didn't have that. I don't have that unlocked. Well, I didn't have it unlocked in my last playthrough. Actually, I was like looking at the uh, forums and I was like looking to see what the average like player level was or the not the player level the state of their castle was when they finished the game dude the state of my castle was like the only good character like the only the last character that i unlocked was like the guy with the gun and like that's as high as the castle got and then i never expanded left or right And it was like some absurd number. It was like, yeah, your tower level by the end of the game should be like a level 120. I was like, I was sitting around at like level 40. I was like, oh, okay. Maybe this is why I was having such a hard, hard time with it. And uh, Panda and Shorts had told me that it was like, yeah, like basically any problems that you have with the game, you can fix it with money. Like even if you're bad at the game and you have enough money to, to get through it, you can fix it with just a shit ton of money just by grinding. I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> and I ended up beating it like half like half the required or recommended level or whatever it is some characters have uh, flight skills uh, oh you like one because it's less visually confusing <laughs> yeah 170 or something you, you like doing the grind yeah i think the best feature that they have was being able to lock the world I use it because I I use that a lot, locking the locking the world down, just to get back to a boss that I like couldn't fight or I couldn't beat. 
So that was like a nice, um, it was a nice thing that they like added. This is damaged up by ice. This is an increased flash shot. I think I'm just gonna keep going frost chance on ice. Frost, it's uh, whenever whenever it, when it affects an enemy and that enemy is killed, it does like a nova around them, like a frost damage nova. Instead of slowing them down like you would think it would do. Uh, attack speed. <coughs> you do for a fairy chest, they had it in one. Oh, I didn't know that they, I don't remember them having it in one. It's a good game, I like it. I, I definitely have to go back and replay it without the cheating, basically. The boss just like, was just, it was just too frustrating. I was stuck on it for like three or four hours or something. I was like, you know what? I can like easily solve this with a toggle. And then I one shot it right after. I was like mechanically unable to do the boss mechanic because of how much it required you to do the spin jumps. It's like, oh, you're not in the air. You're you're on the ground for one frame. You're dead. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Styles your jam. When I was playing it, I was uh, it like reminded me of an older game that I had played on 360. I don't know if anyone's like ever played it. It was called uh, Cloudberry Kingdom. It was like a randomly generated platformer. It had like the same kind of look to it. It's like a cartoon, thick, heavy lines. Prank monkeys trapped in ad hell. No ads, thankfully. do this damage for ice so now now the fraud the avalanche thing is a level three if i pick up another skill thing it'll give me an upgrade the game is like forcing force it's like pushing it so hard i just i don't know like what it does for any of these skills oh that was fast jesus christ fucking guy got obliterated maiden's tier when you would take damage you're generating 20 percent health instead recharges 90 seconds elemental resonator for each elemental effect when hitting an enemy with your main weapon you have a one percent chance Per stack to apply another stack of the same type. Oh fuck, that's strong. 
Well, it's like a... That's for bosses, right? Yeah, that's one for bosses. I have to bring that uh, helmet back to uh, the wall. Actually, I might as well just go down there. You think uh, forces for casting chain lightning on people? <laughs> no, in this game, it does... Um, the force effect changes depending on the skill. But it doesn't tell you what it is. It, like, assumes that you know. Which is really, really, really fucking terrible that they do that. It's like piercing. If it's a projectile, it does piercing. If it's, um... Summons and increases the duration and it's like things like that for every single for like every single different skill It's like depending on the tags that it has so like if it has a summoning tag force does something else If it has a projectile tag it does something else if it's got area tag it has something else and It's like and it, it's I hate that it doesn't explain what it does Never like having to get what well, like that's what the game is like basically forcing you to do is like guess at what this does it's just like, it, it's a feel-bad stat, because, like, you know it's good. You know it's good because the game is, like, telling you to take it, but you don't know what it's doing. So it's, it's a green numbers go up situation, you know? Like, oh, well, the numbers are going up, so it must be good. But, like, what does it do, right? Mmm, 20% multi-hit. Tell me so I can game to my fullest. Yeah. Just stop treating me like a three-year-old, you know? Like, I can read. I can make assumptions on if it's good or not. Mm. I don't know. So this is 20% frost chance on everything? Interesting. Let's go with this one. Back to where you go. Thanks for hanging out, man. The fun at work. Shit. Went the wrong way. I need to go up. I need to go up, and I'm going down, because I have brain damage. There we go. Retrieve the ruby circlet. That's going to be used on my exterminator, assuming I survive the... Assuming I survive this round. Actually, it doesn't matter. I think uh, once you put it inside that well, I think once you put any item inside the well, you just automatically get it on your next run. Oh, this increases the dog. 0. 6 per, plus 0. 0.6 base attack speed. So I guess it's like, it like 50, it's 50 per, or 60% stronger or it's 60% faster. 50% area, so it makes the dog bigger, but and then it decreases its damage by 150. I'm curious to see what this is. So the dog barks and it does like an area effect around it.
Weird. I don't know, I guess uh, crit, let's take some crits, see if that does anything. Red numbers mean good. I need a ball. I need a boss to spawn. All right, there you go. Crippling cuts adds shots in backwards direction. These uh, these projectiles apply slow. Sure. I also take damage. So the icicles will do more damage now. Five damage increase, hell yeah. I mean, I guess I'll go towards the, the green arrows there up on the compass. I don't really... I think they need to, like, fill these maps with objectives to do. Stuff to do. Other than just walk around in circles. These, like, green arrows, they lead you to... like upgrade materials that you can use to get more like reroll potions and shit but that's pretty much all it is I mean this map had the token the fragment of whatever the fucking fragment token that I picked up but, but I, I don't know what to do with it There's like no map indicators for it and maybe maybe there's like a landmark or something if you just walk in a direction for long enough.
<laughs> good boy. Your hound is a good boy. He'll follow you around and try his best to protect you. Counts as a summon. Okay. Crazy how slow the main weapon is. I guess that's because the dog is supposed to be like supporting. Weird that there aren't, uh, I don't know if there's any other ice attacks, other than the one that I have. It's like the big new mechanic is ice and it's just this. It's like this, uh, ring of ice. How much is this ice thing hitting for? Him? Mm. Genuinely curious on how much this thing is hitting for. Him. Uh, it doesn't say. Two thousand, maybe. I mean, the electrify is like very weak. Fifty-three a tick. Thirty percent damage with frost. What? Deal 1,500,000 damage with Frost that lunch. I can't wait to see what the reward was for that. A big nothing. Because they didn't put any rewards for the new stuff. Thanks, game. Thank you.
more damage. I don't want to load up Blue Revolver. Listen to the soundtrack makes me want to play Blue Revolver again. These fucking bears are tough, man. They really slow down whatever progress I was making towards anything. Fucking mages are just pelting me with fireballs, dude. Stop. Fucking crazy. Every bit of damage that I took was that last wave of enemies. It's like my combination of items and blessings have like made it so that the first 30 minutes of like the first 29 minutes of wave is just irrelevant. And then the, and then the damage spike happens and you just die. Um, in nome de patre, the I forgot the rest of it. Sorry, I can't bless it. I'm also not an ordained priest, so I can't bless anything. What's up, JC? Look, our character has a dog. His name is Good Boy. Whoops. Can't pet him. I tried.
Working, I'm working my way towards uh, one of the attractor gloves on the sides of the map. Hoping I get some like extra experience. Appropriate, appropriate music just starts playing from uh, from the Blue Revolver soundtrack. The actual boss theme, the F, the true final bottle, battle boss theme. Was that Reaganomics? Damn, I got fucked up. So I guess this is. I I have a feeling what 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 happened. I have a feeling I know what happened with this run. The Beast Huntress does so much upfront damage with the spear between the spear and the dog that I didn't have to do any defenses at all for the entire run. And then when it mattered, right at the end, because the boss had so much fucking health, that the uh, electrified dots couldn't keep up. And also, Frost doesn't matter. Frost doesn't do anything on single target, because it need the enemy needs to die for Frost to happen. Uh, oh well. What do you do? Fr uh, Frost Avalanche and Google Blitz got new upgrades. Uh, turn the cap. Dying on the final boss. Yeah, I know. Very cringe. I did get a... Uh, I got a new helmet, though. I want to see if I can afford it. Can I buy it? Aw, oh, man. It's 8,000 monies. You know what I can do? Watch this. Sell our blessing. And then buy the helmet. There we go. Oops. So what this does is it increases damage and burn strength for every enemy that's on fire. And this whole character shtick is he lights everything on fire. Let me just make sure that I have like all the good stuff. Electric boots. This uh, this cloak. Maybe they upgraded it. Maybe they maybe they buffed it. I'll leave it. Sparking tips gives more burning chance. Ring of fire gives you more burning chance. All right, I think we're ready. But also, we were playing on the wrong level. We're gonna go here. Time to get time to get fucking mad when bosses don't drop anything again. Like last time. Uh, I need a skill. Let's go this way. Hello? Oh, okay. Ten percent damage. Uh uh, hmm. I wonder if uh, area affects the width of the flamethrower. I know range does. I know range makes it further. Right, we can try it now. See. Maybe it says here somewhere. Flamecaster? Why would it? Why would it tell you what it does? Um. You know what? I'm gonna take as much force as possible this run. I have a feeling it does way more than it says it does. And if we see defensive upgrades, we think they have defensive upgrades. There we go. Even even like the main stand like the main damage increases gives you force and damage. I will take this. I'm plus hundred health. Now you might be wondering, why would you take health if you just sold your blessing? 
For that, I say, don't talk to me, chatter. Just gotta slowly make our way to one of these uh, Naruto forbidden, forbidden art uh, seals. I hate chatters. <laughs> I keep giving bad information. It's true. I hate them, but I don't get I don't get mad enough to scold them, you know. Ten percent more damage. Yell at me, Pappy! <laughs> Vincent, you ever get like a... You ever get a uh, slipper thrown at you so hard that you like saw your ancestors? That happened to me a lot when I was a kid. My mom used to throw... She used to throw her fucking slides at me, dude. Her aim was impeccable. She would be able to throw them down like... Staircases that were able to turn. Yo, I used to get the wooden spoon. <laughs> Dude, she was able to throw. She was able to throw her her fucking. She just th threw her sandals down. Her sandal. I mean, we call them pantuf, but like, she she would throw them. She would be able to throw them around like staircases and shit. You thought you could run away? Nah. That it's a fucking homing weapon. <laughs> Overhand, underhand, the two-handed, backhand, the over-under, the up, the up top, down the head. <laughs> my, um, my mom never, like, physically attacked us. You know what she would do? She would do the mental terrorism. She would, like, throw out her toys in, like, the, in, like, the most dramatic, fat, like, way possible. She would throw them out the window. She would throw them over the overpass. You got me out of bed early. And she'll like take like your favorite stuffed animal or whatever and she just fucking toss it out the window. My your mom threw the DVD player out the window once. <laughs> Dude, uh moms moms know how to la like inflict lasting trauma. Dads uh dads they you know they they beat your ass a little bit and you go you go to your room and whatever. Dude, moms, forget it. They know exactly how to fucking <laughs> sit up straight in the morning, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, this everything is faster than me. Uh I think we made a mistake. Alright, we're good. I need, uh, you know what I need? I need movement speed. I need movement speed. <laughs> Regeneration isn't gonna help us. I need movement speed. My character is just way too slow. No, dragon's but that's good. You never got any of your shit broken or thrown away. You're not, are you, uh, you're not an immigrant, you're not a immigrant child though, are you? Your father was notorious for sh for tossing shit in the pool, like electronics and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, our, my dad just beat the shit out of us. He was okay with it. <laughs> and it wasn't it wasn't even at the command of the mom. It was. Listen, you fucked up. You about to catch this. You about to catch these hands. I was like, all right. <laughs> and then the, and then the moment happened. The the moment that every every son goes through. I, I I hit I hit 15. 15, I was 205. I was in I was a high school high school athlete. I was jacked out of my mind. Top 10 high school collegiate uh, high school wrestling in Quebec. My dad went in, I took him down, and that was it. Never did it again. <laughs> I broke his toe. That was it. 
<laughs> never, never tried it again. He was like, oh, fuck. My little boy's a man. Can't do this shit no more. <laughs> Immigrants. Ew. Yeah, you're right, man. Immigrants. It wasn't just because of you. It was a huge temper when it comes to sports games. Is, uh, in Quebec, is tickling the other person with a feather a wrestling move? No. Dude, the people that I used to, you people that I used to wrestle in high school were fucked because they they were like, I routinely went a weight class above what I was supposed to do. They didn't care, man. They were like, "Hey, throw that guy in. He's big enough." I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like six feet, isn't he? He's six feet, two hundred fifty, two hundred pounds. Throw him in. The French Canadian tickler, they call it. That's when they like they 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 hit you down. They they tie you down. They make you listen to. Um, uh, what's that woman? Celine Dion. They make you listen to Celine Dion. They don't do, uh, real wrestling maneuvers here. It's all mental damage. It's all mental terrorism. Help. What's up, Juan Pequeño? Juan Pequeño! What's up, man? We were just talking about how our Im immigrant parents used to beat the shit out of each other. Or us, sorry, not each other. Uh, out, of the, out of each other, too, but you know. That didn't matter as much. You're not an expert by American standards. Your coaches were doing it wrong. Here they do anything they can to get you in a lower weight class so you can be the biggest fucker and have an advantage. The, the thing is that... The thing is... Uh, the thing is, JC, is that in our school, we didn't have anybody that big. I was one of the biggest ones. I was already one of the biggest ones. They were not going to find a 260-pounder to, to fight in the... Whatever, whatever the fucking weight class was. Dude, they considered me overweight, and I was like, fuck, I was like, I was ripped. Holy shit. I wish there were, like, pictures of me. I used to walk around at 2.30. I walk around at 2.30, and I would lose, like, 20 pounds in two weeks. I was, I was eating, like, 8,000 calories a day. It was crazy. Now look at me. I can't even get out of bed in the morning. I think I'm gonna go with this piercing win. Plus 10, plus point one base crit. Zero neck turn radius, jacked as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you can still kind of see it, right? The barely have any neck. You can see when I'm when I'm sitting up. It's the only time you ever see my neck. The 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 four foot wide shoulders, no neck. Could, uh, the ba uh, back's big enough that you can eat, eat fucking breakfast off of it. It's all gone. That's all gone. Thanks, job. Exactly what I needed. Uh, I really should pick up that, that scroll, eh? Oh yes, I would like more fire damage. Thank you. Turning sideways through doors, I still do that. <laughs> I still do that. Uh, even walking downstairs, walking downstairs, I'll turn sideways. It's like uh, it's like a habit. What's up, B squared? We're playing, we're playing a little halls of torment. We're talking about our glory days when I was in high school, and our immigrant parents beating the shit out of us, beating the shit out of us. <laughs> like college lacrosse, B square, B square. Were you a were you a college lacrosse veteran? Yeah. Sick.
And then you took one too many lacrosses to the brain, huh? They have to bench you permanently. Tell us, tell us the story. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna die. Baseball in high school, across the uh, university. Yeah. There was no way I was gonna, I was gonna get, I was gonna get fucked up regardless. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more run. I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing. He showed us a pick on stream once. He was built like a brick shit house. Damn. Your head on collision with an 18 wheeler. Oh, fuck. That's a story. You had, a, you had spinal surgery. Did they, uh, did the doctor tell you you'll never walk again? And then you were able to walk again. And you walked up to the doctor and you punched him in the nads. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, dude. Uh, you got hit by an 18 wheeler. So you, what, you, were, you got T boned? You were driving, you got T-boned? <laughs> Two 15 passenger vans for lacrosse. Was it, uh, was it like crushed bones or was it? Like, was it just like, like lingering whiplash? Like, what was it? You knocked your shoes off. Jesus Christ. Good thing it was a van. If it was a car, it would have got sucked under the tires. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, shit. You were in the... This is the van that you were in? You got launched through the wind, uh, the windshield. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Watching this video, the so the video, the window is still intact. I don't know, man. Doesn't look very intact. Fucking crazy. Uh. Well, you know what, man? You survived. That's all that matters. Even if you have crippling physical pain because of it, you survived. Survive, baby. Yeah, exactly. See. Surprised you're not playing Dark and Darker. Everyone loving that game. Uh, it looked like a Chinese Bitcoin miner to me. I don't know. The uh, the website looks very shady. They're having they have like a big lawsuit with uh, Nexon right now in uh, the United States and in Korea about stolen assets. Their TOS says that you, uh, everyone may lose access within 15, uh, 15 days of access. So I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. It also looks very slow. 
the like the combat just looks very slow in general it would have been it would have been something that i was that i would have been interested in because it's like it's it's cool right it's like a fantasy dungeon crawler that you play with your friends you you get in there's monsters you kill the monsters you, you grab as much loot as possible there's other teams in there right it's like uh it's like um what's that game that space cat keeps playing um hunt it hunt something hunt showdown it's like hunt showdown but it's but it's fantasy so like for me that would that would have been that would have been cool i would have played that but it it just looks so slow Dude, you the characters are like swing they swing their weapon. They swing a weapon and it's like their character model is like this. It's like they're going under it's like they're trying to swing a sword underwater. And like every single animation of the game looks like that. And I was like, I I would lose my fucking mind playing this. Uh my brother plays it though. I think I think he's playing it or he played the beta. I have a friend that plays it a lot. Well, actually, I don't know if he's still playing or not. They uh, they have a ten they have a tendency of buying uh, multiplayer games, playing it for like three days and then dropping it. If it was on Steam, maybe I'll think about it. But because it's like through a weird website and the lawsuits and stuff. You guess they dropped the lawsuit and they released the game. They were selling the game through the through the lawsuit. So if even if the lawsuit got dropped, uh, maybe it did. Did it get dropped? Did the lawsuit get dropped for it? Maybe they'll really maybe they'll like actually release it on Steam because uh, Nexon uh, or issued a, a, a cease and desist right to Steam or to Valve. Actually, they they issued a cease and desist to Valve to stop uh, selling the game. So that's why they ended up selling it on their website. Or it's not even their website, it's like some kind of fucking shady platform that like nobody has ever heard of. Oh, I'm gonna take this instead, movement speeds. I was like really tempted, they had 10% multi-hit. What I should have done was uh, doubled. I have like a potion that does, you can double the effect of any passive you pick up. I should have doubled the 12% movement speed. I would not have had to pick anything up. Well, we we'll learned. You just check this on Steam, yeah. It was on. It was on Steam, and then they got issued uh, C and D. You can't do that. It has stolen materials. Oh, shit. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick up the electric one. You can buy it from their website. It has a launcher. The website has a launcher. I thought it was only from their website. I thought, like, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Uh, about that thing. It just looked. It just looked. It smells like a Bitcoin miner. <laughs> you know. You know what I mean. Okay, let's double this. Uh, not re-roll. Select the trait. No. Select the trait. The effect of that trait is applied twice. Let's use it on uh, on this multi-hit. So now the flamethrower has like a chance of spewing more fire out of it. Their website is the shady place? Oh, I see. I need a soundtrack. Someone hit me up with a soundtrack. I'm not listening to this, sh this game's shitty music. It's their website or the shady distribution. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So you can buy the game directly from them. Or you go on the weird website, I see. Why don't you just listen to Lionel's Juice soundtrack? Do you have the link to it, uh, B? I'll listen to that. You know which one I used to listen to a lot was Aris, uh, Avoiding the Puddles um, soundtrack? It's like, I think it's called Batman on YouTube. It's like, uh, it's kind of the same thing that Lionel is doing. Or has been doing for like the last three years or whatever. He's like building up a video game soundtrack playlist. Sure. 
Need to go get that. Uh, let's go this way. Randomize this. How do we do this? Couple. There we go. Thanks, man. It's massive. 256 songs. I think that might even be the limit for YouTube playlists. I wonder if he's. I wonder if he's hit like the playlist limit. I had one. Uh, B. I had one that was all like fighting game themes, character themes that I used to play. Like from fighting games that I played, I would have like the character themes from every single one of them. And the playlist got, it hit like an overflow. I don't remember when, but it, it, the playlist hit like an overflow and the YouTube told me, sorry, your playlist has been deleted because you added too many things to it. And I was like, that's a thing? You can you can add too many things to a thing? Yep. I thought that thing was dead. I wasn't. Two hundred and fifty six songs, and six of them are from JC. Oh. What a champion. Get me out of here. I don't want to be an XL while I'm pinned. Give me a look. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of money. Jeez. Uh, I don't know what to do. Force? I think for the flamethrower, it makes it so that the flame can penetrate through enemies. But the attack speed on needles will be good because it it, uh, it does like... Whenever a needle hits something that's on fire, it explodes because of the uh, one of the equipment things that I have. So it would make the explosions faster. I think we'll do this. We'll just go with the force. Gremlins. Where the fuck are all the enemies? Oh, there's one. Dude, there was a there was a summons wrapped up around your door now your doorknob around. Uh, for are you like going? Are you uh like were you selected for jury duty, or was that for you getting sued? I don't remember how that works. You open it up and now they said they have to give back. You have to give it back to the cop. Really? What happened? You were speeding. Be squared.
Is this for the la lady who lived before you? Like, why do I gotta do that shit? Yeah, it seems weird. So the lady that lady that was living in that building before you got a summons and you have to show up in her stead? That doesn't make any sense. Why would that... I don't know. Seems weird. Seems weird. You have to give it back to the... Oh, I see. Okay, so it's not, your, it's not you being replaced by her. It's that you just have to go give it back to the police. I see. I wonder why. I wonder why it's like that. Like, why do you, why do you need to physically go back and give this paper to the police, you know? Maybe there's like, maybe there's some kind of weird thing with it. You don't speak legalese. Yeah. <laughs> send a send a comment to that guy on the YouTube, the guy that does the legal shorts. What is it? The, I think it's Legal Eagle. Send him a comment. Why do I have to do this? Let's see if he makes a video on it. <laughs> And more damage sounds good to me she's been getting mail from the courts for a while you would think that they would like understand that she no longer lives at this address and would stop sending things you know? dude 30 percent tax me for the main weapon it's like a, it's like a hose Probably dead. I think I'm caught inside a flamethrower. I think I'm about to die. Nope, nope, I'm genius. That's right. I believe I looked at 0. 0.2 health per second and said, that's a good idea. I should take that. Because I'm like, out of options. Keep writing you keep writing on the letters that she no longer lives there and you and putting it in outgoing mail. Yeah, how long has it been? How long has that been happening? It's fucked up. They don't care, man. They think you're lying to them. He's harboring a criminal. Thirty percent burn damage. Now we're fucking talking.
Mmm, Meteor Strike. Oh, fuck. When you arrived at the hotel, you were still getting mail for people who were getting mail for people who stayed there for two weeks. Four years after they left. Oh, shit. She's gonna lose her kids since April. Oh, it's been happening since April. So it was about custody. Dude, you've been- you were getting- you were getting mails from people that said that that's where they lived for four years after they were gone. Dude, that's fucked up. Like at some point you gotta you gotta say well, these guys don't live here anymore. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, that's fucking strong. Point one percent damage for each missing health point. It's forty seven percent more damage. It was happening so much that you had a stamp that said not at this address. <laughs> what do you think? More range or attack speed? Attack speed is everything, eh? So is range. About the shit you see at the hotel, you should write a book. You should write a book about it. Get it published on Amazon. My stay at the Marriott. <laughs> and every chapter is like a a self-contained story. People will buy that shit, man. You're not sure that you can legally say talk about some of them? Oh man, that sucks. Nick Zerbil Zerbural. What's up, man? Another Nick, huh? He doesn't know that there can be only one. Kill him! This is the uh frozen something. I don't know. Frozen something. It's uh one of the beta maps. If you if you uh if you go on Steam. And you go into the beta branch of Halls of Torment, you'll you'll get this map unlocked. There's like a whole bunch of new stuff actually. There's uh two new classes, three I no uh, yeah, two new classes, four new abilities. One of them has a dog, but you can't pet it for some reason. It's pretty neat. Do a plus one lightning strikes? Gimme. Have you been playing Halls of Torment for a long time? And by long time, I mean the month and a half that it's been out? I'm gonna call this guy Real Nick. So we don't get confused. That's the real one? Huh? 
Wait a minute. Uh, uh reroll. 15% attack speed. Now we're fucking talking. Let's go. I'm gonna call him Good Nick. <laughs> it's like Good Nick and, and uh, no, it's a uh, good, oh, what was it? Good Hank and Bad Hank? That's what he called them. Nick Whiskey is fat, fat. I'm not fat, I'm obese. It's different. Fat Nick, Dark Nick. Uh, movement speed. Let's grab this. Choose inability. When lightning strike deals a critical hit, it causes an explosion that deals fire damage in the surrounding area. And enemies stunned by lightning strikes have a 40% chance to get electrified. I have a problem, and that's that I don't know if a lightning strike can do crits or not. And I can't check. Sicilian Nick, I'm not Sicilian. <laughs> Any Sicilians in chat so I can call you inbred? <laughs> Explosive strike. Let's see if it can crit. Can you crit? As a 5% chance of exploding. Alright. Alright, that's good, I guess. Oh, fuck. I can also get the other one, too. You know what? Maybe we'll level up a little bit and then we'll pick up that scroll. You know, I have a... Oh, you can't use it because you're not subbed. Damn. Can't believe it. My best viewers and subs. Sag. What a Sag day in channel history, man. If you are subbed, you have access to a Mamma Mia. It's one of the best emotes ever made. by a maid, I mean stolen off the internet. Because I would never make my own emotes. Except for Feels, Ni Feels Nick Man. I kind of drew that one. Together. Let's draw an MS Paint. I can feel the fat collapsing inward. Stolen emotes are the best emotes? I agreed. Stolen content is the best content. That's why uh, people like to say that about the YouTube. Oh, uh, the YouTube algorithm. You gotta follow the algorithm. Really what it is, it's a bunch of like millionaire content creators just stealing, ability, uh, stealing uh, content off of each other. That's what that is. All your emotes are guaranteed to be made under five minutes. <laughs> I don't like these. Reroll. You know what? I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab this just so that I can pick this up. There we go. Instead of emitting a single moving wave of fire, Dragon's Breath emits a quick and continuous stream of fire. No, Dragon's Breath knocks back enemies. Yes. Before this, we're spending remembering how to make a background transparent in GIMP. You just delete the layer, right? You select everything but the thing, you invert it, delete, and then you delete, and then you remove the layer. Pretty sure. A pink weirdo, probably. Imagine paying to have emotes made like a weirdo. Damn. That's mean. Brother. Uh, what do you think? Long fingers? Radiant aura stacks? What does that mean? Total stacks? Of what? We're gonna go simple. We're gonna go simple. We're gonna make our flamethrower wider. Like Kirby? Smilers? There you go. 
Smilers? Clouds. Metal Gear. Base crit chance. More explosions from lightning bolts. I'm gonna dig it. I don't remember if I should pick this up or not. Or we'll wait. I can wait. I'm not in a hurry. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, another lightning strike. That means more explosions. Hell yeah. Ah, my health bar. Range. Longer flamethrower. What I really should have done was upgrade the uh, lightning bolt. The lightning ball. Oh, I should have been upgrading that. I can get the. Uh, I could have gotten the upgrade for it that makes it follow enemies. That would have been good. The amount of electricity chance that it has on it. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Uh, if needles can still hit more enemies when maximum range is reached to deal their damage as magic in an area around them. No. Critical hits split needles into two projectiles? Yes. I guess a boss died. <laughs> I guess a boss just died. Saw the fire and just instantly exploded. Oh god, what the hell is that thing? I have a choice. I have to go through it. Uh, level three. I need a skill thing. I'm gonna go pick up one skill thing. This way. Ignore the weird statues from Doctor Who. Keep walking. Oh, there's one over there. There we go. Uh, Kugel Blitz additionally casts Chain Lightning while moving past enemies. Oh. That sounds cool. I don't I never see that one. I still won't see it. I still won't see it because there's too much shit happening. Lightning strike gets a hundred percent electrify chance. More goblins. Nasty. Is the game good? Is Gremlins 2 like actually a good game or is it just a meme? I feel like you would know.
Oh man, I think this is it. Dude, there's like, there's 100 bosses on screen right now. Good movement will only take me so far. It's not terrible, but it's not good enough that so many people in the community would have played it if Lionel didn't. The platforming is really dumpy. So it's like a it's like a solid like six out of ten NES game. If that was the game that you got at Christmas, you're okay with it. Type of game. It's a Sunsoft game? What else does Sunsoft make? It sounds familiar. Pretty much, it's typical Sunsoft 6 on 10 games that people act or 10 on 8 on 10 for some reason. You know what? The music's good, at least. Game could be bad. Music good. Kill total 100 bosses. They have great music, it was just a part of it. Dude, music is like a huge part of video games. It's huge. People uh, people underestimate how, how like a good soundtrack can carry like a 6 on 10 game. Want the loot. Let's go get the loot. Oh, this guy needs to die. Die. Yeah, he fucking felt it. Dude, this flamethrower is doing a lot of damage. He's doing exactly what I thought it was gonna do, and just melt things. thing is like it's putting like sickles behind it uh oh I just wanted the loot How close were we to the end? Oh, we were, we were six minutes off. Oh, fuck. These are like generic milestones. They don't really do anything. Yeah, that's a lot of money though. That'll, that'll get us like two more upgrades or something. Let's see where the damage came from. I, I have a feeling it like entirely came from the burning. Yeah, seven, like close to eight million damage just from the burn. Dude, these, uh, this cloak was actually, like, this cloak was working, man. The aura was useless. What are these? Oh, these are the boots. It's funny that it did, like, it did more damage than the... Oh, it didn't, sorry. I thought this was, for some reason I saw this was, uh... So these boots aren't even good anymore. They must have nerfed the shit out of them. So maybe uh, movement speed, the movement speed boots would be better than this right now. Damn, I almost tripped in my chair, dude. <laughs>